All right, so now we're ready to make this into a poly mesh and start playing around with it. In here, I'm going to raise this up to two. Okay. Then I'm just going to get make adaptive skin. Here is my new skin which I'm going to save as skin just like that back to geometry down and now I'm going to be moving stuff a lot for just a few minutes Go get my weak kind of drawing tablet up to par. Make sure I'm mirroring an X. And what's the first most important thing? about a character. We did it in the last lesson. That's right, the skull. You really want to just um, get the skull down pat before you do anything as far as maybe the overall head shape, uh, how it attaches to the body. I guess this stage is more like, you know, working on the initial very low res painting of it on this phase I, I look at profiles and how does it read how are these things connected and uniformity of the mesh it's a big thing too So if I have these polygons that are just folded on top of each other, I like to relax them a little bit. It gives me a little bit more room to play around with them. big old mess right in here. Now this mess, I think I should go to this level and smooth it out. So I don't want anything folded on to itself. And that's why I'm saying that I, I back off a little bit and then just kind of play around with the idea of the shape. How does it all flow? Getting the kinks out. I mean, if you had a tail, I don't think it had a kink in it like that. That would hurt. Maybe it got jammed in a door somewhere. Hitting s smooth, and that's what I'm doing is just shift smoothing. So a combination of s smoothing and moving.
All right, good. Okay, now, um, this phase. This phase is working out or blocking out some ideas of musculature, okay? Now, I'm going to base it on a little bit of human, not much. I'm going to base it on the fact that for every muscle, there is an opposite muscle that kind of does its job as far as, you know, if you bend your arm with your bicep, your tricep takes over and then extends it. So a bending and extending type of anatomy, just like humans. That being said, also, usually the, the top of any kind of leg like that would be beastly, you know, to be able to handle the, the connection of the body and to support the muscles all the way down. And this is a perfect example of, you know, these things are in polygroups. So, you know, if I, if I wanted to kind of see them as polygroups, I could take them and edit them or move them out of the way and kind of get in there. But the problem is they're in polygroups correlating to not each other, like symmetry-wise. You see that? Certainly it wouldn't be hard to regroup them. It does take a long time though, so I might only regroup these these front ones right here. And that entails holding shift and control throughout the process. Oops. If you mess up just an undo. And then if you hit shift and control and then toggle alt, you can get rid of larger chunks. Shift and control, alt, let go. And then I can go in here and say polygroups, group visible. Now that'll be able to, now I can get these legs out of the way if I wanted to, or uh, let's say I needed to work on everything, but, well, here, I can probably tell you that I'm not going to be grouping too many other things, so I'm going to just group these visible. Okay, now I got two sets of groups. If I need to work on the front legs, I can. I have them at my disposal. And if I need to work at the body, I can. So, you know, just the initial stage of organizing your your creatures so it's easy to sculpt on them. So now here, if, if everything is out of the way here, I can really kind of just work on this form. Not really tweaking too much here at the base. There we go. OK, 
kind of another debacle right in this area. If you really think about how, you know, if this character was moving at fast speeds, um, certainly he's going to be bumping into himself a lot. I mean, ignore it for right for now, but just to point it out, you know, those, those little stupid things is what a modeler thinks of. Um, so he's going to be at full pace. He's going to have to have a, a weird rhythm for these legs not to bump into each other. And I think that rhythm would be kind of cool to see as a walk cycle, though. Now, hiding this stuff has its advantage in the fact that I can hold control and shift like that and then hold control and drag. With the rotate tool. And this will allow me to sit here and rotate this a little bit like that. Okay. And I can also inverse it. That's in our little trick. So I'm thinking about moving that forward. rotating that back just just for right now because it would be easier to sculpt on in this fashion yeah it's much better Alright, I'm going to switch over to the next video where I tweak some more stuff.